Hello. Uh, thank you for joining us again at uh, Game Gumshoes. That's Chris, as always. Um, this is the Game Gumshoes Presents the Hall from Gen Con. These are all the games that we managed to pick up while we were at Gen Con. Um, we were told that there may be a few more coming, and we'll let you know if they actually do show up. But for now, let's go ahead and cover the ones that we did get. Uh, we may even cover some that we didn't get, but we thought were worth a mention. So far, yes, it's noisy. Um, this is a game called Pajaggle. It's from Pajaggle Inc. Actually, technically, there are two games in here. They're both the same game, but in order to play one of the ten sets of rules, we had to get two copies of it. And they were generous enough to give us two copies. Um, next game, from Cubicle 7 is The One Ring. It's a role-playing game. Um, we're going to test this out with the role players this weekend. Uh, Got to get in contact with them and see you know, if they have time in their schedule. Um, the next three games I want to cover are all from Out of the Box Games. Um, we'll start off with My Word. It's a word game, obviously, where you're trying to collect words. Um, next... Vocabulary. It's an older game. Or maybe it's a newer game. 2011. It's new, but not brand new. The new one for this year was Snake Oil, but you've already seen me review that. Um, or actually, did I do a video on that? Might do a video on that. Um, next, Backseat Drawing. Um, I got this game, even though it's an older game, because it's multilingual. I found that when we were at uh, some of the different events held at the different schools here in our area, in Cincinnati, Ohio, that we had some Hispanic people who did not speak English and couldn't readily participate, even though they had showed up to participate. With games like this and our Spanish-speaking Flux, we will be able to participate with them and have them interacting, because everybody can tell what a picture is, and... Um, you know, like I said, the wor their words are in several different languages, so everyone will be able to say yes or no or what have you. Um, next game is one that Kid Gum she managed to pick up on her own. Um, it's called Penguins on Ice. As you can see, it's a little slidey game. Um, parts move around, and um, we'll cover that more when she does her review. Uh, next is a game from a game company that I very much admire, and we saw several companies doing this this year. Um, it turns out that the new market um, makes it to where it's almost cheaper to have games made here in the United States. Um, between customs and getting your stuff taken um, by various authorities of other countries, and just the shipping costs for the games um, has made it to where it's much more viable to make games in the United States. Um, so this game here is from Rather Dashing Games. Yes, I said Rather Dashing Games, and these guys were really well dressed up. This game is called Four Taverns. Um, it's a card game. Um, if you've ever role played, you'll understand this when I do the review of it. Next, for the kitties. Um, there's a game that's very much like uh, Candyland. It's from Wiggity Bang. Um, is the name of the company. It's called Magic Feather. Now they actually had a couple games at, at Gen Con. Um, this is the one they gave us to try out because it was their new one. Um, they also have two other games I saw. Um, this one's the one that appealed most to the kind of people we play with um, because we do do a lot with you know kids and stuff. So, we'll get a chance to review that, and you'll be able to see it on the website. Um, this game here, the next time I'm going to show you, is uh, it's a game called Lusang. We first saw this at Origins, but at the time we ran into them the first time, they were not able to get their product in country. Um, very beautiful game. Um, as you can see from here... I know the packaging looks a little dark, but it's not that bad. Um, the company's called Thornhedge. They're fairly new. Um, if you were at Gen Con and you purchased that game, you got a little sample pack of 
uh, extra character cards for the game. It's one of your fantasy board game kind of things. Should be fun. Uh, I can't wait to give it a try, actually. Uh, next couple games are for children. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Wench, um, but this is a game called Pirates of uh, Pirates of Gold Cove. You've got your deck of cards, you've got your coins. It says it's for ages six and up, but we'll be able to test that as soon as um, I get a moment this weekend to uh, play with the little ones, uh, get the nieces and nephews and my friends' kids over and test it out. The next one. Um, is from a company called Mayday Games. It's called Lemonade Stand, and your children running a lemonade stand. The only problem is it says you got to be 13 and up to play it. I don't know why. Get a look into that when I go and do my review for it, and you'll know as soon as I do. Um, also for Mayday Games, um, I don't know if you noticed the review on the Facebook page or um, you know um, the blurb about it in my Origins. Um, yeah, my Origins haul video, uh, but there was a game called Talk Talk Woodman from Mayday Games. Well, while I was there, they gave me the Golden Axe expansion, and so here it is. It's gold pieces, and we'll cover this when we uh, do the video for Talk Talk Woodman, which I assure you will be up soon because. Uh, I finally secured the small children I need to play it to prove that it's not limited by the age on the box. And you know, that's something. Most of these games have a set age on them. Not 100% accurate. Sometimes, if you have brilliant ch children, or you play the game just a little bit different than the rules say, you can have a game that little children can play, and you can play, and everybody will love. Um... Speaking of which, um, I have a party game that uh, was another game that Kid Gumshoe secured for us. Um, and again, this one was also at Origins, but we weren't able to secure a copy then because um, the people who were demoing it, uh, which means demonstrating the game out of the convention, um, were not actually North Star Games people. Um, but we ran into North Star Games and talked to Luke, and he gave us Crabby Birthday. Wait till we review this thing. It is freaking awesome. Um, last two are strategy games. Um, I don't know how many of you like checkers, chess, those kind of games. Um, but uh, we, we do have two games that fall in that basic category. Um... I don't know if you saw the video for um, uh, Rise or Fall by Fox Mind Games that uh, Kid Gumshoe did on her own. Uh, well, this next game is from Fox Mind. Or Fox Mind. Uh, it's called Six. And it's pretty simple. As you can see, that's all the rules. So, when we get around to reviewing, you'll get to see this. Uh, nifty carrying case in the inside. Lastly, um, there's a company called Tallycore. They make a lot of educational games. Um, so much so that when Kid Gumshoe was going to school um, here locally, she had actually taken in games to school to play with her friends. Uh, one of the games was Tallycore's Somebody. And you basically build a body uh, using various clues and what have you. Uh, so, that being said, Tallycore um, gave us a copy of one of their strategy games. And they'll, we'll try to do more with them in the future. So, when we go and do the visits at various places, we'll have uh, educational games to show off, as well as fun games. And don't get me wrong, just because a game's educational doesn't mean it can't be fun. I actually think Tallycore pulls the line a little bit better than, say, university games. Um, the key is to make a game fun for both the children and the adults. Because if you want the children and adults to interact, there's got to be something there for everybody. Otherwise, a parent will get bored, and, you know, that just it doesn't cut it, really, honestly. Uh, so, that being said, their game is called Blindside. I'll give you a quick view of the back. 
Yes, it's a strategy game with arrows and hexes. Great for the role player. Um, I do believe that is it. Um, take a look at the uh, Facebook page if you like, um, the web page. Check out our other videos here on YouTube. Um, we're glad to get your support. Um, be expecting to start seeing some of our reviews up on uh, Board Game Geek uh, here soon because that seemed to be one of the things that everybody said we should do. Um, not just on our website, but anywhere I can get it. Um, well, I guess uh, that's the end of the reviews, and I will see you all in the future videos. Thank you.